Hello, Graphanatics! Overwhelmed by data and wishing you could arrange and slice through it as if it was a pie? Well, today we will go over the delicious pie chart, which allows you to consolidate a bunch of data in a proportionately sliced up pie, so you can easily identify by size how many calories each slice will bring. Pie charts display series or values in a series from one or more queries that they relate to each other in the form of slices of a pie. The slices are all proportional to their value relative to the sum of all values. This type of chart is best used when you want a quick comparison of a small set of values in a yummy and easy to digest form. We will use Grafana Play to create our first pie chart panel. The steps we will work as well in a local Grafana setup. To access Grafana Play, link in the corner. Grafana Play's home screen is a dashboard. Here you can follow these steps to add a panel. In the panel editor, set the panel as pie chart at the top right corner. To quickly get a visualization, we will use the test data data source and select the CSV file and population by state. Super easy! We got our first pie! We can hover over to identify what each slice is. Now, to understand better how the data is displayed, we can turn to the table view. As you can see here, the data is grouped by years, not so much by states as you may have expected. This is because, by default, the pie chart likes to group data by columns. The pie chart is very flexible with the data requirements, allowing you to even display multiple queries at once but it will always display a single pie, and as mentioned, by columns. For this demonstration, I have prepared some sets of data that we will use today. You can find them as CSV below in the video description. Ok, we will pull first the multiple data set, and change our test data data source to CSV content, and paste it there. Fast and easy, you have the values displayed proportionately in the pie. Hovering over, you can tell it's just displaying the last row of our data. So why don't we make it easier and paste now the just one data set? Here. Much better, right? It displays exactly what is in the data as we have only one row. Now, if you are wondering how to work with multiple rows like we had earlier, or how to display every row or their titles, that and many other cool things are achieved through customizations. So why don't we go over possible customizations of a pie chart panel? The first thing that you can customize in the pie chart is the general panel options. It contains title descriptions, transparencies, and so on. This is common to almost all panels in Grafana. For more info, check the link in the corner. But for now, we will just change the title as a yummy pie chart. Next, we have the value options. In this, the first thing that you can change is the way the data is shown. This is calculated or display all the values. In case that you select all the values, this will add every value returned by your queries. Every cell will be added to the pie regardless of row or column. Since you could have too many, you can limit how many you want to be and the maximum added to the pie, and under it the values you want to be picked up, either all of them or just the numeric ones or picking all from just one column. But if you select the calculation instead of the max number, you will be able to select a calculation to apply. Here by default is set to last. And that is why earlier we had only the last row displayed. But you can pick the first one, averages per column, maximum, minimums, and all sorts of calculations. I would say let's keep it as show all. Next, we have the pie chart options. This one is mainly about choosing the circle to be pie shaped or hollow in the middle, like a yummy donut. <laughs> Boy, this demo must be making everyone hungry, right? Well, you can also choose any labels that you want displayed over the slices, like the percentage of a pie, name of the field, and the value in it. So let's keep just the values. Now, we have the tooltip options. In other words, what is displayed while you hover over the pie. You can set it up to show only one per field, the one that you hover over, or all the fields, or no tooltip. 
In case of choosing just one, you can select the max width, but if you want them all at once, you can also set the order of the items and the maximum height. Now the legend section regards the information displayed at the bottom, telling you which color is what. You can hide it completely, but if you keep it, you can define if it is displayed as a vertical table or a horizontal list, if it is on the bottom or on the right, and if you want to add the values or the percentage or both. And if it is on the right, you can make it also thinner or wider. Last, we have the standard options. Uh, here, we can set things like units, minimum and maximum, in case you have percentage thresholds calculations, if you want decimals, change all the display names, the color scheme, and what to use if there is no value. Phew, lots of options, right? But if you click on apply, you will have your new and delicious pie out of the Grafana oven <laughs> ready to be displayed together with many more panels in your dashboard. You can find out more about them on the videos here displayed on screen. For now, happy dashboarding and have a good one!